Hello everybody, welcome back to another Danger 5 run. Uh, today I think I'm going to do another new character. I'm kind of on this new character kick now. <laughs> now that I started playing on new characters, I want to keep doing new characters. Uh, so I think the Druid looks pretty cool, so I'm going to try that character out. I have not run this character yet at all, uh, but we'll see what we can do here. This Druid has got a plus 5 max HP. Uh, you get plus 15 luck, which is really nice to start with some luck, and enemies have a higher chance of dropping fruits. Uh, 33% chance to get one luck when you pick up a fruit. So 33% of the fruits are poisoned, which kind of sucks. That ignores dodge and armor. And we get basically no HP regen and no life steal. Uh, neither one of those things we're taking, so we'll be steering clear of those. I think we're just going to have to get our max HP way up. And, um, you know, we can still get dodge and armor up, but the poison is going to ignore that. So max HP and... Armor and dodge are basically what we're going to have to try and get here. Engineering modifications are reduced by 50%, but we don't usually take engineering, so that's not a big deal. Um, I think the pruner would be, might be a good option here because it spawns a guard and increases more fruits, so you're going to get more luck. But it doesn't; it only scales, scales with melee. Um, so I, I think the best option here would be to go with the loot. The loot gives you a, a scales with 10% luck so and melee. And it's a melee weapon and enemies take 10% more damage for three seconds after they've been hit. So I want to do more damage. So I think we're going to go with that. And then we'll fire up danger five here and get going. The attack of the loot is kind of a uh, wide spread too, like slow, but looks like it's got a pretty good, pretty good attack on it. So we grab these. Okay. So at least the consumables are identified as poisoned there so we won't be taking that um let's go ahead and i think we're just gonna take luck here let's take more luck we could take more hp too lumberjack shirt definitely lock in harvesting will lock in for both those and we'll take another loot try to get more loots here see if we can get another one get one more nope three loots though on wave two is not too bad Oh, so we're gonna up our attack speed too. Seems like the this thing seems pretty powerful already. Like way more powerful than um, the last run I was doing. Which also those guys were super tanky. I'm used to those guys. Uh, what was the run I just did? Oh, diver, diver is like the guys were 250% increase in health. So it was it was pretty tanky guys. I'm gonna go ahead and take some speed here. Let's take that fertilizer for now. And I guess we'll take the lumberjack shirt to get it out of the way. Take another loot there. See what else you got here. Uh, baby gecko for range. I think we're gonna skip that. And corrupted shard. I don't think we want that either. Probably didn't, shouldn't have re-rolled that many times since we already had a loot locked in, but whatever. So uh, I guess when you take this, you get poison. Yeah, it takes quite a bit of health away, so not cool. Let's try to avoid the red ones. It's nice that these guys have a 33% chance to drop a consumable, though. And then the trees. I wonder if the trees can get poisoned. We'll have to see. Uh, crit chance versus damage. Let's go ahead and take some crit chance. Why not? And I'm going to take... We should probably take harvesting here. You know what? I'm going to take attack speed though, because attack speed on these things is pretty slow. And let's, we can't take HP regen, but we will take armor for that. And to remember not to take that HP regen. Um, Chance to heal one HP when picking up material. I think cute monkey, cute monkey would be good though. Lock in the insanity too. I got to really reroll here for more loots. There we go. Alien Worm for more HP regen and max HP. We're not going to get that HP regen, so I'm not going to take that there. Let's go on to the next wave. I don't think I'm going to get anything on that last roll. Oh, took a poison one there. I wonder if you get any buff from the poison though even though you are poison like if you take it
There we got a little bit of luck. Or level up, I think. I think that was level up. Uh, speed and damage would both be good. I think I'm going to go with a little bit of damage right now since our damage was in the negative. Go take another loot. I'm not even rolling for another loot here. Um, I mean, Berserk I would want normally, but let's just keep rolling and get our six loots done. So that way we have that. Energy bracelet. The crit chance and I'll lock it in. Energy bracelet for more crit chance. Keep going here. So now we have a whole bunch of loots. Guitars, whatever. I'll take a look at the stats in the next shop, see what we all get from the loot. As far as primary and any secondary. I wonder if we, uh, I, I gotta really, okay, so we take that, we're gonna get poison, but I kinda wanna take it, just see, you still get the, yeah, I think you still get luck from that, even though it's poisoned. Let's take some max HP there, and we'll take some more attack speed. Uh, so with the six loots, you're gonna get musical, which is plus 25 to luck, which is really great for us, and a plus 25 to harvesting. So those are really nice stats we get for primary and secondary stats. So it looks kind of nice. Um, more luck, obviously. Lost duck. We're always going to take the luck. And another loot. Let's keep going here. Let's see what else we get. Handcuffs. It's too e early to lock your HP, so I would avoid that right now. Um, let's see what I... I just want to double check these. There's 33% 33, 33 chance to get one luck when you pick up a fruit. So even though we picked up the poison one, we still got luck from that. So it's for all consumables. So if you have health, I would pick up the poison ones too. See that right there, we got some luck. I think the luck, um, the luck icon is like, a green nose? Is that right? Yeah, it's like a green nose. Whatever the hell that is. Damage is already feeling pretty good, though. Just needs a little bit more attack speed to really help this guy buff him up a bit. And we're going to take that. We'll take some attack speed, get that going. We're going to take Banner for more attack speed. We don't really care about knockback. Uh, obviously, we're going to take another loot. And we'll lock in Dangerous Bunny. We're going to lock in Pocket Factory and go to Wave 7. It's kind of... It feels kind of nice hitting, like, the range, or, like, the width of the loot is really big, and it feels good hitting everything with that. So if we can get our damage way up and our attack speed up, that'd be really nice. Yeah, we definitely gotta get attack speed going. That'll be great for bosses once we get to the bosses. I'm just kind of taking all consumables right now. I'm not really looking at my health too much. I may regret that later, but Figured if, it, if we get more buffs to the luck, the better. Let's go ahead and take more luck, and we'll also take the me melee for melee damage. Sunken Bell is kind of, I don't know. I, I've taken this a couple times, and you only get once per wave that you explode, so it's kind of meh, but I'll take it anyways. Let's take a speed upgrade for sure. I'm going to take this compass just for more speed first. We'll take Pocket Factory, Compass, and Peaceful Bee probably wouldn't hurt either for dodge and harvesting both. So I might lock that in. Lemonade probably wouldn't hurt because we'll get HP from consumables. So that'd probably be nice for this build. Since we're not getting HP from the HP regen or lifesteal, um, that'd be nice to have some extra HP from consumables too.
unlucky there. Didn't get any. I mean, we should be getting a ton of crates too, which if we're getting this many crates, we really need to get uh, some bags going. That would be great because then we get a ton of materials from all the bags or from all the crates too. So far, I'm kind of liking this. Feels really powerful, actually. Way easier than I think Diver was, but let's go ahead and take the Tardigrade. Uh, nullifies damage from one hit. We'll take a lot of stuff for more luck. So our luck is already at 85 now. Uh, harvesting range. HP regen is worthless. Let's go ahead and take... Let's take damage, because we don't even really have any damage right now. So that'll put us at 12 damage. And then we'll take some crit chance here, I think. So we'll take Dangerous Bunny for free reroll. And then I'm just going to take all this stuff to get some armor. Lock in another loot, another loot. And then we'll take the Alien Tongue too. I know there's a unlock. I think I read it that there was an unlock if you get 100 uh, pickup radius. So... 100% pick it radius. I think it unlocks something, but we'll have to see. So you get like, it looks like I got like minus four taking that poisoned one, so. A couple of lucks there. Ooh. Kind of ran right into that guy, so don't do that. Wait on that consumable until I get some more health consumables here. I guess I'll take it. Take it. I'll just eat everything, I guess, for now. I don't know if the chest count is consumable towards the luck. I haven't seen that yet. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Come on, hit him. There we go. We got it right at the end. All right, Panda, we got lucky with the legendary here. It's plus 12 max HP and plus 12 luck. This is actually perfect for this character because we're going to get max HP, which is awesome. And that mega luck boost we get there. So that's really nice. Got lucky with that one. Uh, Warrior Helmet is going to give us plus three armor and max HP, which we'll take. I'll get speed back another way. We'll take some more attack speed, get that up even higher. And I'm going to probably take all this stuff. So let's combine that. Combine these and then take a another one of those. Pick up radius. We'll take range and attack. Piercing we don't need. Um, attack speed and range. I'll, I'll go ahead and take it. Improved tools. More attack speed is good. And wheelbarrow is going to be good for harvesting. Coil is going to give a knockback. Plus one knockback for one. Plus one damage for every knockback we have. And we have like minus nine knockback. So I'm not really going to take that. Melee damage and HP. Let's go ahead and take that. Do one more reroll. And Clover. We'll definitely lock in Clover for dodge and luck. Man. These guitars feel nice when you hit. So far, I'm taking just like about every consumable that I can get and not having any problems with health right now. And, you know, you're increasing your chances of getting more luck. Because you're getting health back from the other consumables and the consumables are dropping so fast that I feel like you don't really have to worry about the poison so much. Let's go ahead and uh, recycle the pumpkin there. We'll take some more attack speed, get that going even higher. And we'll take some more dodge. Take the Clover for more luck. And Terrified Onion for more speed. We can sacrifice five luck for that. Also Beanie for more speed. Hopefully get my speed up to about 25. And loot and a mirror. So what I'll do is I'll take the, the mirror and then we'll take a, a loot and get double loot with that. I think is what the way it works. So Let's see what else we get here though. Ooh, our double jetpack. <laughs> That'd be nice. That'd give us like... 
30 speed and 20 dodge or a glass cannon would give us 50 damage um our damage is really low so i think i might do damage actually we're only at four damage if we can get you know 50 damage from that that'd be amazing I feel like this is going to be one of the easier I'm saying that on danger five so that anything can happen but I just feel like this might be one of the easier completions I say that and then I always lose health whenever I say that all right let's go ahead and take the vigilante ring for plus three damage for every wave and I'm going to take plus nine max HP get that max HP up and then we're gonna take that mirror and so now we get double glass cannon and we're gonna lose a bit of armor there but let's go ahead and do it take the loot keep that jetpack locked in i'm definitely gonna want that we're also gonna take a cyclops for more damage we're gonna go into wave 12 and see what this board wave is like now that we have increased damage what are we hitting for here 73 under nine crits. It's killing these clamshell guys in like one hit, so that's kind of nice. Oh, look at all these consumables, man. All the goods. So many consumables. Kind of steering clear of some of the poison for now. There's a lot of poison ones out right now, though. I want them all, but... Say I was going to take all the poison ones, but now there is a lot on there, and I think you could very easily take those and then end up dying, so... Especially on a horde wave. I think if it was a regular wave, I'd probably take them, but... Alright, that was fun. Uh, I got a ton of luck from that. Let's take the injection for more damage, uh, clockwork boss for more speed and structure attack speed, and bowler hat will definitely take because of the more luck and harvesting. And then we'll take crit chance, uh, jetpack for speed, cyclops one for more damage, acid for more max HP. Uh, cape is gonna give us lifesteal plus 20 dodge. We'll be taking that for just the pl plus 20 dodge, uh, not the lifesteal, because the lifesteal is obviously way, way low anyways. Incinerary turret for sure. And we'll take Claw Tree too for melee damage and crit chance. So speed is already feeling really nice now. Cruise around anywhere really quickly. Might as well grab that red one. Get it out of the way. I think all the crates you get with this too, it's really nice. Getting greedy there and trying to take a couple of those. All right, more damage. Uh, alien, magic, HP regen, max health. We'll just take from the max health. We can sacrifice a little bit of luck. Oh, and then we get shady potion, which gives us 20 more luck, so why not? Uh, take medical turret and then we will take more dodge let's go ahead and take all this stuff uh harpoon gun was you know that's a diver weapon so we're not definitely not taking that let's go ahead and should we take energy bracelet i think i'm gonna skip energy bracelet we'll see what else we get goldfish for sure 
that's going to increase the tier level of our next shop so <laughs> we'll use that after we take the monkey The first I saw that incinerary turret down there, I think they changed the color of the the fire for this. I think the fire on the regular boards is red, and that's now it's blue for this for the abyss, anyways. Killed that curse guy. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. All right, hedgehog for more melee, sure. And we don't need cog. We don't need sharp bullet either, but we will take attack speed plus four for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that goldfish, cute monkey. We'll take a cyberball too. Why not? So now we got the knot. Weapons can no longer be upgraded or recycled. I don't really want that right now. I normally would take that. I guess we could lock it in. Nah. We'd have to leave that locked in for a while. And we only have six waves left. So I might go ahead and take uh, Ritual for more damage, though. I might take a laser turret and a mastery, obviously. Uh, let's keep your rolling here. Tentacle for crit chance. So. All right, we got our first. I think this is our first boss, right? This, 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 this run through. I'm gonna try to stick by old Sharky boy here, as close as we can. Try to hit him with as many of these loots as possible. Ooh, we took a big hit there. You gotta watch out for Sharky boy. He uh, he can take some dam. He can take some damage off you pretty quick. I'm just gonna try to get some health back here before I go back and over and. Let's hit him some more. There we go. Now we got some health back. Try to avoid his projectiles. There we go. We took him down. So it's fairly easy. Just gotta use a little bit of patience and make sure we, we dial it back. I want that consumable. I guess I'll take it, whatever. Might as well take these two. And these. <laughs> Grabbing all the consumables. All right, spider's gonna give us plus twelve damage and plus six attack speed for every different weapon you have. Uh, I, I well, let's go ahead and take it. Whatever. More speed. I don't think I need more speed right now. I think I'm good on that, but I will take more luck for more damage. Uh, laser turret, melee, tentacle, reroll, and medical turn. Another tree will lock in. Go to wave sixteen. It's kind of cool when they're all in like. The loots are all in sync of hitting. It looks pretty cool, actually. Massive damage all in one swipe. I think this is the most luck in any run I've ever had. <laughs> So I don't, I mean, I guess I just expected more crates to drop, I guess, with more luck. I mean, they're still dropping. There's three drop there, but. All right, more luck, sure. Uh, bandana, we don't need. And power generator is plus one damage for every permanent one speed we have. We have 37 minus five it's gonna be 32 additional damage we'll definitely be taking that and then we'll go ahead and take why don't we just take max hp or dodge here oh, i think i'm gonna go let's go max hp we get our max hp up to 100 that'd be great take more health uh night goggles can give us range and crit chance so we'll go ahead and take that and then we'll lock in a mastery so their stuff's level one so i'm gonna skip that community support will be nice if we have a lot of enemies on screen
feeling pretty powerful right now. I think the only concern would be really health, just making sure you get your health up to where you can feel comfortable taking a few hits. And we're killing most of these guys in one shot, even the cursed guys. Kind of a fun build because you kind of look for the regular consumables and you're kind of just going for those as you cruise around. And then you can always grab the, you know, poison ones at the end if you want. Gonna take a Cyclops Sword for more damage. Gambling token will help us max out our dodge. Enemies take 10% more damage from Elemental. We'll go ahead and take that too. Melee, community support. Uh, we got another loot. And Retromation's hoodie will give us plus two attack speed for every one dodge we have. We have a 116 attack speed. Definitely gonna be taking that. And we'll take the box glove for a little bit of knockback and that good stuff. Lock in, we should probably lock in a weed too. Why not? For more melee damage. So that's pretty insane. Uh, this is spiral. I hate I hate that attack so much. I mean, it's not the, the shooty spiral that the end guy does though. All right, this guy's gonna go down real fast. Wow, that's insane. Well, that is insane. That's a lot of damage, so. I mean, even with like no lifesteal and health regen, I still don't, I'm not like super squishy. Damage is amazing. Let's see what kind of other legendaries we can get. It's a fun run. I think just the amount of luck and, you know, the, the all the chests you get and all the consumables you get definitely makes this run a lot easier than other characters. I mean, look how fast I took out that loot alien. It was insane. All right, Greek fire is going to deal burning. Additional burning, current enemy. We'll take that. We'll take the boxing glove. We'll take a turret. And our range is at 85 right now, so I'm not... Eh, screw it. It's a level 4. I'll take it. Um, Let's go ahead and take the loot, the hoodie, and lock in the wheat. We only got two waves left already. Uh, boxing glove for more melee if we want another loot. We'll just lock in another loot. So when you, yeah, when, since I got that Tardigrad or whatever it is, it, uh, it nullifies the damage you take from the point, the first poison you take. So when you grab that, you just, just, just FYI there. <laughs> so many consumables. Nuts. This is kind of insane build, actually. I mean, I'm taking those things and I'm not even, like, losing any health right now. Wow, that's a lot of crates, man. Uh, let's go ahead and recycle. We'll take scared sausage, plastic explosive. We'll take more crit chance. We'll take more dodge. Uh, a lot of good stuff there. Uh, let's re-roll here. Take more damage. And another loot take that wheat Let's see what else i guess we could take another vigilante ring but we don't really need it we only got one wave left i'm not going to take that i will upgrade another loot though uh hell sh we'll take a gentle alien at last ah oh, we should wait big arms would have been nice anyways let's go to wave 20. see how fast we can take out these punks just gotta watch out for this guy's uh, oh wow, he's dead. Yep, he's dead already. <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. I'm gonna hang out, hang out by these for a little bit, get my health back, and then I'll go take on Sharky Boy. Oh, there's our bell. That was a nice bell, actually. We needed that for a little clear. Go by these uh, health turrets, and then hopefully, we'll, there we go. We got Sharky Boy done. 
So that, that was actually my first run with him. So, um, Cauldron is a 50 pickup range. Uh, you get plus 20 damage for two seconds after picking up a consumable. Uh, that's pretty nice, <clears throat> especially for this character. And the pickup range is pretty nice too. Uh, minus two HP regen. So that'd be a really nice item for this character if you want to do unlock this one first and then go back and have a chance of getting this item for your druid run. But overall, you know, you don't really need HP regen or life steal. It was very easy. I'd say just take the loot and just rock out luck, luck and harvesting. And then you can just buy all the things that you want. You know, super easy run. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care.